Hi everyone. Can you guess what this is? This is my absolute favorite, favorite candle. So this is my first Candles by Victoria review. I'm excited. I just did a really long video and uploaded it and didn't realize that it has to be a certain length. Oh well, it was a pretty good one, but I'm going to try to do um, a shorter one now. So this is the first one. Obviously it's, like I said, my favorite. It's Emperor's Love and it's always burning, always going in my uh, apartment. I have so many others that I need to give a shot, but um, this, I, I can't stay away. It's my love. <laughs> love it. It's a dupe of um, a, another company's scent or soap. Uh, it's exactly, exactly true to it. So if you like that, you will definitely like this candle. So, I, and you can also see, I don't know if you can see it, how clean it is. And I am trimming my wicks. Um, I don't have a wick trimmer yet and I plan to get one, but I've been using a designated nail clipper. <laughs> Sorry if that's really bad candle etiquette but it works um but I'm definitely going to get the trimmer because um, I'm cutting them I don't think the lengths are good enough but it's this one's not burning so that's good so um I gotta keep my eye on the time I should probably put a little timer on but I don't have one so I'm gonna kind of go over maybe like five or six of the ones I have and um maybe just do another one or just do multiple um, uh, smaller ones. But I tend to just talk and talk and I need to stop doing that. Okay. So the first one I have and I've used is Bath Time with Poo. Probably everybody watching this has tried this. I'm sure. Maybe not. Um, but this is also another dupe of the same um, company as the Emperor's Love is duping. Um, and this one is um, very, very... I, I really don't smell the honey toffee as much as I smell more of like a florally hon floral honey um, with like a an end note or bottom note of uh, the toffee because it's really really I don't smell it as much as I thought I would but this is very very nice very soothing very um relaxing good bathroom scent for soaking in the tub and just burning that I, I talk too much I'm sorry next one is sea salt caramels um and this one uh um, is I'm just shoving this in my face sorry this one is really nice um, I like caramels but it's not your typical just out there caramel scent this does have um, you can get that salty end note and yeah it's like a uh, salty caramel <laughs> It really, I mean, it really smells exactly um, what it says it smells like. And I think that it needs to cure a bit. I feel like there's a scent in there that's trying to get out that is not quite there yet. So I'm going to wait on that one. Um, and I think I've said before that I really like these jelly jars. So I'm going to just kind of do a few of these first. The next one I have is Watermelon Cupcake. This was a create a scent made by Tina and Kayla. Hi, Tina and Kayla. Uh, and this is really, really pretty. It's a mixture of Tiffany D and Pink Cupcake. And basically kind of just going like this, you can really get that watermelon. It almost smells like the bubblicious watermelon gum. It's like totally what I'm smelling. And then at the end, there's that cake really, really making me crave pink cake. <laughs> I want a pink cake. Um, and almost like a frosting, uh, too, at the end. You can get that, like, pinkish, fro pink sweet frosting. Um, the next one I have is... 
Spanish Sunrise, and this is another creative scent made by Sabrina. And sorry about that. This is absolutely in my top five for sure. Um, look at the pretty, pretty, pretty goodness. Look at that color. Uh, and this one is a mix of mango peach salsa, I think, and something else that I don't, I want to say something like morning in Madrid, but if I'm wrong, I'm sorry. But this is so, so good. This is very juicy, but it also has that like spicy, spicy salsa kick. Um, I'd say like a medium salsa, but like a peppery note too. And it's, it's really like, grown up like a grown up candle like totally on my top five right now uh thank you for that one okay another one that's um my eye on that prize time is sugared sugared spruce and this was recommended by a review i watched uh, done by erica Hi, Erica. Um, and I'm so glad that I got this, I have to say, but this is so good. You guys need this one everywhere, like four in each, each room and close your eyes and have some fake snow blowing around because this is Christmas in a little jar. And I can't even like, I don't even really need to say what's in it. I mean, it's really sprucey piney, um, very, very, very festive Christmassy scent and really, really nice. I haven't burned this one yet because I, I'm like holding on to it. Um, cause I don't want to ruin it. <laughs> um, I think that I'm getting close to the end of where I'm going to stop. So I'm going to do like maybe one more. Um, and this one is cookies for Santa. And this was actually a mistake. I should not have gotten this one. This one came, and I'm actually really glad I got it. This is, um, I don't know that if this was a cookie, I would eat it. However, it's its like a mixture of oatmeal. I get, I'm getting oatmeal, nutmeg, spicy cinnamon, clovey, maybe a hint of... I don't know, <laughs> so many spices all in this. But this is like a, almost like a spice cake e cookie-ish. But it's really good. Um, I think that it's gonna be strong and I think that it's also gonna be good for the kitchen. So I'm gonna stop here just because I am I'm, don't wanna go too crazy. Um, I do have more. Um, I'll probably try to put another part up to do some more of my jelly jars. Um, I do have some eight ounces and a couple of, well, a couple of 16 ounces in a top shelf. And um, I'll try to get another one in. Bye guys.